So uh, a while ago I did a review of a, <laughs> a video basically of two different Ford dealers, one really good down in Hangdong and um, one really bad up here in Chiang Mai. Uh, just warning people stay away, they have shitty customer service, they promote themselves to speak English, they really don't and blah blah blah. So today I decided to do um, more of the cost of living type deal. I'm going to call it the tale of two receipts instead of the tale of two dealers. Four dealers and um, yesterday I went shopping at two places I uh, in my mind I was going to go shopping <laughs> in four places and I just I, you know number one there's the frozen items or cold items that you uh, that you got in store one there is that right which were not cold by the time I was done with the second store so you really don't want to go to three and four in that case because it's like you're cold shit is melting, you know, That's, uh, and number two, I just, I, I don't know, it was like, it was four in the afternoon by the time I was going to second place, and I was ready to come home, <laughs> so I'll actually probably go to the other two places today, because I still got running around to do, and I forgot water, like water was one of my main things, I'm, I'm out, my big jumbo jugs of water, I had 12 of them, and they're gone. I drink water like a son of a bitch here. So uh, I want to show you the two receipts. One from Big C. Big C is like Walmart. So if you shop at Walmart or you know, even Publix or Food Line or Aldi or whatever, um, that's your normal groceries. That's where I got milk. Um, normally I get bread there, but I got bread in the fancy store. I'll show you that. Uh, eggs. You know, things like that. Staples. Things that, like on, on a regular basis, once a week or so, I go to Big C. And, and that's where I do my grocery shopping. Get my vegetables, my carrots for, uh, for my juice and stuff like that. So that's your normal shopping. Now, I only got 30 items because, for instance, the bread here, they don't put preservatives in it, which is good. You don't want preservatives like all that GMO crap in America that you buy a loaf of bread and it lasts seven months you, you really don't want to be eating that crap but as a result like I'll use two slices a day to make a sandwich or something and then like by day four or five the last piece is getting moldy because it's there's no preservatives so um, the Thai lifestyle is one of frequent shopping, kind of like overseas. I mean, that in, in Italy, people literally go shopping. They walk and go shopping to the butcher, to the baker, to, you know, every single day. So they get fresh ingredients every single day. Here, every two, three days, probably, they get, you know, fresh ingredients. So it's similar to Europe as opposed to America. But anyway, I want to show you the two receipts. Um, as it worked out, I got just about 30 items in each place, and you'll see the difference in price between Western food and Farang food, and the high-end one, Rimping, that I've mentioned before here, um, the, the receipt is actually in English, it's the, it's the only receipt, <laughs> every place else is in Thai, um, the, the receipt in Rimping is in English, which shows you they definitely cater to Farang, and you'll see the difference in price, because, uh, the number one question for people who live here who do videos is how much does it cost to live there? Well, you want to shop in the local market, which I'll also show you in another video what it costs to shop local, like a local person. Do you want to shop at Big C or do you want to shop at Rimping? <laughs> you know, like Rimping has everything. You don't need to go to Big C. You can you can buy everything in Rimping, but like why would you? Because it's, well, you'll see. You'll see the difference in price. Okay, so here are the two receipts. This is Big C. That's about all you can read on this one. It is Big C because everything else is in Thai. But you'll see that if you look at the prices, this is all bot. 91 bot. Uh, 20.25 20 bot. 21 bot. 35 bot. 21 bot. 20 bot. 20 bot. Uh, 45 bot. 4. Four and a half bot. Uh, I think that was uh, onion. I bought I bought one single onion in a little bag, red onion for salad. Uh, thirty-seven bot, thirty-seven bot, thirty-seven bot, thirty-six bot, sixty-six bot. So you can just see that the biggest ticket item I bought 
was 129 baht, right? Which is uh, four bucks, roughly. Well, I bought one item for four bucks, and I don't know what it is. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I should know, but I don't. The point is, the grand total for 30 items is um, 1,300. Get in the light there. 1,300. Oh, the, the light's being blocked by the phone. There you go. Uh, and 90 baht. So we're talking 1,400 baht. That's um, a little bit over $40 US. And 30 items. And once again, these are staples. And in, in here is a half a gallon of, or not half a gallon, here are two liters of milk, um, two dozen eggs, um, an onion, lettuce, uh, tomatoes, uh, carrots. Um, when you see the thing that's over and over like the same price, those were carrots. I bought a shitload of carrots for my juice that I make every day. <clears throat> but more or less, that's what you can expect for your weekly, if not a little bit sooner, um, grocery shopping. Like I said, the bread doesn't last a long time here, uh, which is good because you don't want to fill your body with fucking crap and preservative. Now, let's go over to the rimping side, shall we? Uh, now, first of all, everything in this motherfucker is in English, right? So you can read it. You can see margarine and other. I got some kind of butter <laughs> for what, 19 baht, I don't even know what that was, but okay, uh, sam sam sandwich, <laughs> that's awesome, <laughs> sandwich bread, <laughs> I love that, sandwich bread, sandwich bread, 30 baht, so I could have bought that for 19 baht in Big C, but I don't know, whatever, I just, I saw it, I grabbed it, now what I couldn't buy in Big C is the next item, Whole wheat sourdough bread, my favorite. Not whole wheat, but sourdough bread is my favorite. And you see that's 115 baht for one loaf of bread. I made a nice uh, New England clam chowder soup bowl last night. Oh, that was delicious. Uh, ricotta cheese, the mighty ricotta cheese. This is the only place I know in Chiang Mai that sells ricotta cheese. I got two of them. So it's 185 baht a piece, so 370 for two. Uh, that's stuffed shells. I'm going to make stuffed shells with that ricotta. So that's that Diwali Congoliani for 129 baht. So four bucks for stuffed shells. You know, Pringles. What? What? Snack alert! Snack alert! Pringles, sour cream and onion. Uh, 89 baht. I can get that for 50 baht at Big C. Once again, that was a bad purchase on my part. Uh, pineapple juice, 50 baht, that's about the same. Uh, bagel, I, I got smoked salmon, you'll see somewhere along this list. So I got t three tiny little bagels. The reason I got three here, plain, multigrain, and cinnamon raisin, is they're very small. So I'm going to have smoked salmon and cream cheese on the plain and multigrain. And the cinnamon raisin will just toast up and put some butter on for a snack. There's the cream cheese, 159 So we're talking $5 for a thing of fucking Philadelphia cream cheese. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, luxury lobster. Uh, okay, that's a can. That's a can of lobster bisque. One little small can, like regular Campbell's can of soup. 129 baht. Four bucks for a can of soup. Uh, Lipton iced tea, 14 baht. Fanta orange. Um... Turmeric powder, 42 baht. Um, ranch dressing, there you go. Once again, the only place I know to get ranch dressing in Thailand, or, well, I'm sure it's in Bangkok, but in Chiang Mai, and it's 115 baht. So we're talking almost $4 for a bottle of ranch dressing. Uh, A&W root beer, 15 baht. That's a little small, tiny Thai can. Maple syrup, right? Real maple syrup from Canada, the real, the real deal, not you know the fake shit with all the corn syrup and crap in it. Three hundred baht, talking about ten bucks for a fucking bottle of maple syrup. <laughs> um, Oreo cookies. What? What's that doing? That must be a mistake. That there's there's snacks in there. God forbid, Fat Boy has snacks. Um, and then uh, fancy German mustard. 
this medium mustard is actually German, like the good stuff. I really like that on my bratwurst and, and the hot dogs. But you see you pay dearly for it, 169 baht. So you're talking almost six bucks for mustard, for a small jar of mustard. And then sauerkraut, because you can't have, you know, brats without German mustard and sauerkraut. Like I said, if you're on a limited budget, you are not shopping in this place at all. Um, uh, there we go, something in Thai. I bought something <laughs> that, that the register doesn't even have for 129 baht. And then uh, pepperoni I got. I like to uh, zhuzh up um, French bread pizza that they sell here with pepperoni and mozzarella that I add. Ham. Um, I, oh, I bought stuff for a sandwich, like a sub sandwich. So I got uh, salami, pepperoni, ham. Uh, cheese yeah gnocchi I bought gnocchi for 84 baht um, little small tomatoes little cherry tomatoes 39 baht um, little 3M hangers once again that's not something you'd get grocery shopping but to hang shit up remember my kitchen I'm struggling for space so for 59 baht I found those little hook things you put on the wall and then you pull the pill with piece of tape and it doesn't mar the wall and then uh, tortilla chips for 64 baht so look at that total 2730 baht we're talking almost 100 dollars us for 30 items that's insane um now in america if you go to a upscale market you're like wow that's cheap you know, 100 bucks for for 30, you know, upscale items. Yeah, if, if you're buying upscale items in America. But in Thailand, you see 30 items at Big C, cost 1,400 baht. 30 items at Rimping cost 2,800 baht. So it's double, double the fucking price. <coughs> and remember what I said about the bot, how I figured out that 1,000 baht actually spends like a hundred baht in America. So now picture going to your fancy, you know, boutique upscale <laughs> world market or whatever and um spending three hundred dollars for thirty items. Now it's not such a good deal. And that's the spending power here. It is a hundred dollars US to a thousand baht. That's not the exchange rate, but that's how a thousand baht spends here, like a hundred dollar spends. So three thousand baht, yeah, that's twenty seven. No, so, okay. To be fair, two seventy three, not three hundred dollars. But imagine paying two hundred and seventy three dollars for thirty items, and you know nothing. We're not getting caviar here. <laughs> it's fucking maple syrup and root beer and bagels and ricotta cheese. You know, ranch dressing. Pasta. I mean, this is stuff that you would get in a regular supermarket, not an upscale one. So, just thought it'd be interesting. People who who um, are interested in living here, cost of living. Once again, I call it the tale of two tapes because you can see the difference. Uh, same amount of items, and one is double the other. So, what you spend to live here uh, depends a lot upon where you live, and what you drive, if you drive anything, and where you shop.